Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. And to continue on our series for how to create a Visual Studio Team Services extension and configure a continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline. And in this part, which is part two, I'm going to again explain that developing a Visual Studio uh, Team Services extension is just, uh, you know, a normal front-end development. You just need to use your basic skills for front-end developments, either HTML, CSS, JavaScript. At the end, developing an extension is just a single page application, which has a landing one page, and you will just need to have some JavaScript loading all what you want in, in, in that part. Uh, usually, of course, we, we, we need to sometimes interacting with uh, with APIs for the VSTS to retrieve some data or commit some information. Uh, but this will be a, a restful APIs which we can interact with that using, you know, the, the JavaScript or any other language like TypeScript, for example, or CoffeeScript or whatever, the way that you prefer to develop your front end uh, development. And in this video, we are going, you know, to see that how it's very simple to develop an extension for Visual Studio Team Services. The second part is develop a normal SPA single page application. Okay, so as you can see here, if I'm going to that, I develop a very simple uh, application. So let me just open here. So if we open that page, as you can see, it's very simple, like I can here change the text. I can calc two numbers, it's five here, two. So sum is seven, divide 2.5 and subtract is three. And if I can also change the color here, like I also created this as a feature flag I wanted to make, but of course it, it's not working yet. So it is just a, a simple JavaScript, which just JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And as you can see, it's just working. It doesn't require anything except JavaScript and CSS. Okay, so once I develop that again, you know, if we look, this is the, the CSS file. Uh, this is the image. And this is the logo of the extension. And here is a script, just normal script, you know, just calling function to calc two numbers and to just, you know, changing the color of, of uh, the form and so on. Very simple. And of course, here is the readme file. Of course, I can keep it. I can. So if I go for the readme file, I can change here where, you know, to to change that. Let's go very quickly about the function. This is the calculation functions. And this is for just for the UI, for just again changing the colors and very simple JavaScript code. So this is the second step. I would like to thank you for watching the video. And please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, here is my blog. Thank you.